Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about how to clean up logos. This logo here, we got this for the new department of my supervisor and it was made by one design firm just from the internet. And we're going to take a look at this file and determine if there's anything wrong with it. The first thing we of course do is we select it and you can already see that this doesn't look very good. Normally this here should be one shape, but it's broken up into different shapes. Also, if you go on view and you go on outline, we can see that something strange is going on here. And if we zoom in, we see that actually some of the shapes are duplicates. So we should delete those as well. For this, we can also go back onto the overprint view. So we can select those shapes and delete them. We see here that there was an overlay, so we go back and we're going to move this to the side and then we move it. I press shift and the arrow keys to move those objects. Let's continue by removing the duplicate elements in here. And I lost some color here, but I can just regain it by using the eyedropper tool over here and we get the color back. If we select the whole thing, we can see that there's no more duplication present. However, we have those shapes here, which are not merged and also some things are going on here. So the next thing we want to do is we want to merge those shapes. We can do this with this panel here. If you don't see the pathfinder, you find it under windows over here. So what you basically do is you select shapes which should be merged like this one here and you click on this button unite and now we have those merged. Then there's this strange business going on with the shapes here and also the structure here and we get generally don't want this we can't merge them because they have different colors so what we kind of want to achieve is that the gray here, the gray shape only goes up to here and up to here and that it doesn't overlay with other shapes. So what we are going to do is we're going to duplicate this file here and move it to the side. Let's overlay them. And then we're going to select the gray bars here. And we are also going to include those boxes over here. Now we can click on this button here, divide. And this will group the whole thing. And we can now access this group by double clicking. And then we can go ahead and basically delete all the things here, which we don't want. So all the boxes and all the shapes which are left over, which really are messing up our document. Like this. You see here that the shape wasn't fitted very well. So let's also correct this. So we can go to the pen tool and we're just going to remove this one point. Just a quick and dirty cleanup. Let's fit everything into the window again. And we can click escape to unselect. Also, let's ungroup this. And if we select the shapes here, we now see that this is very nicely divided and we don't have any overlaps. We basically do the same up here and down here as well. I'm now done cleaning up this DNA strand and we see we have single objects in here which don't overlap. So if you cut this out on some foil, it will look very nice and you don't have those errors in your figure. Also, you might want to adjust the things down here. It doesn't look very nice. So let's go back to the overprint preview, zoom in here. And with the direct selection tool, we can adjust this shape a little bit. What you also see here, those points were not merged. This also is kind of a problem. So 
We can zoom in again and to merge these points, let's first overlay them. So again, with the direct selection tool, we're just going to put them over each other. And we have under view, smart guides activated, which makes them snap onto each other. And then we can select both points and we just merge them like this. And maybe let's take care of this shapes right here and put them a bit closer to the DNA itself. If you want to convert this here also to a round shape, the easiest way to do this is to take your pen tool and add one more point. And then with the direct selection tool, just let's move it up a bit and convert it to a round shape. It's helpful if you deactivate the smart guides for this. And something like this should be fine. So if we take a look at the logo. We could do some more adjustments in here also just make this straight and not curved. This is really up to you. But now we have a very nice cleaned up logo and we can go on file. And for example, save for web to save this for a website. And maybe let's adjust the size a bit more. And also if you want to save this for print or for other people to use, you can save this as an Illustrator file, of course, but also many people don't have Illustrator. The best way to do it is just save it as a PDF, like this. And also make sure that the font is outlined, that this is not editable, because not everyone might have this font right here. So here we have our final logo. And I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. See you until next time. Bye bye.